Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. Hey there. We're looking at the Netflix India trailer called Bubble. Bubble. B Official trailer starring Rahul Bose, Tripti Dimri, and Avinash Tiwari. And it's produced by Anushka Sharma. Yes, it is. She's one of my favorites. So, in the description, it says, Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. That is true. Jabby knows that firsthand. Yeah. Five times. So, okay, it says... It says Bulbul, a supernatural thriller produced by actor and producer Anushka Sharma. Clean Slate Films is the haunting tale of a child bride who grows up to be an extremely mysterious woman presiding over her household. She harbors a painful past as supernatural murders of men plague her village. Are they somehow interlinked? I say yes! So this comes out June 24th. So uh, here we go, let's check this out. <laughs> I just want to know, can you hold the scream for the entire duration of the camera coming? <laughs> Pushing in on still, you. Still hold the scream longer. Okay. For those of you that don't know, a while back, uh, Rahul Bose did a movie called Porna, and we interviewed him for that film. Mm -hmm. And that was actually our first exposure to him, because we didn't actually know who Rahul Bose was before then. And then subsequent to that, we've seen him in a number of films and have grown to really appreciate his acting. I mean, obviously from the beginning, we have liked his acting, but then we've grown to like it more and more. Yeah. I haven't spoken to him in a while, but um, yeah, anywho, that's uh, cool. If you haven't seen the interview, it's worth checking out. It's very interesting. So how did you feel about this, Jabby? I, I don't know how to, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. That's the honest truth. Like a lot of stuff. The, in the beginning, there was some imagery and the lady like kind of going across the screen. I didn't, I, if she was bouncing on the trees or something, but yeah. something looked off with her feet. And That's then- because they're backwards. I, I, damn, let me. <laughs> Sorry. So something looked off with her feet, and then they said it in the video, like her feet are backwards, and she like that her feet are twisted all the way around. It really creeped me out when I saw that. Is all I'm trying to say. It was visually very startling. Do you remember that from the uh, Veer Das comedy bit? Um, no. I can't remember exactly which one, but I remember specifically he was talking about the Trudel. I'm probably saying it incorrectly, but that's this demon woman here. And he was talking about how there was one in Delhi, and apparently she would run up, like, run up next to your car with her backwards feet and just like, Do you love me? <laughs> like, Anyway, they just made me think of that. It's a legend? Yeah, it's okay. like an urban legend. Or in this case, it's just like a, a ghost story that, I mean. They didn't it, hint at that in Street, did they? 
I don't know. The thing is, in Asian culture, there are so many weird and interesting ghosts and demons and weird spirits that are like men or women, but like kind of weird. And so like, I really dig this because it's that sort of thing where it just fascinates me. You know, it's like, how, how did people come up with these urban legends or, you know, like village stories, ghost stories or whatever the hell they are? Like, how did they come up with them? I just find it so interesting and I love that whole feeling of period. Like, I just love things that are set in a different historical time. Yeah. And it's interesting because Yes, it's got a supernatural element, but there's also that mystery element in it as well because like you, I wasn't 100% sure about what was going on in the story, but I thought that maybe it was the young child bride mm -hmm. was actually into the young boy, yeah. but she married the older dude and then young they both grow up. And so she really wants to be with that guy, but she's married to his brother or someone else. And so I'm getting the sense wow, of like- Wow, you caught a lot. That went over my head. Um, that I didn't catch much of the story other than I saw interactions. Yeah. And I didn't, but like a lot of what all of it meant was sort of lost on me. Well, I'm not sure. This was kind of what I got and I might be completely wrong, but I the sense that I got was like, is it, is it really a supernatural thing or are they twisting that to their advantage because people believe it so actually she's the murderer and she's going around killing these men so that she can finally be with the man that she loves. Why or is she is killing them? Well, what, what is killing them? How does killing them get her closer to her objective? Well, cause then, cause then um, she's no longer married to her husband, right? Why, why can't she just go with the guy that she wants to be with? That's what's- Well, for reasons like, and that's what I was gonna say. Like, I don't know if widows can get remarried or whatever, especially at that time. But anyway, that was just like a, a postulation of mine, just an idea, a theory, which is probably like wacky and out there and completely wrong. Mm. But I think that there is an element of crime, thriller, like murder disguised as supernatural. I don't causes. think that it's disguised though. I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe it is disguised and it's all a hoax, but the way it's shot, Unless those are all dream sequences, unless it's, unless it's all happening in someone's retelling of a thing or it's mm. happening in their mind, there's no reason for the color to look like that, that very red tinted red. color scheme. Yeah. There's no reason for that unless there's something nefarious actually happening that is supernatural. Because when you're in the wild, like the colors don't look like that in real life. Mm. That's a deliberate choice on the part of the DP in order to affect a feeling of something supernatural happening, something beyond our human realm. And so I would imagine that it's not um, a hoax. I would imagine that it is legitimate. I mean, unless someone is just saying these things to someone else, kind of like the storytelling aspect that was introduced at the beginning with the, the boy saying, I want to tell you something. And she's like, is it scary? Yeah. Like, unless that's the entirety of it, like him communicating the story to her. And so then you can, get away with these weird color palettes where something supernatural ha was happening, but it's all just him telling the story. Right, You know, yeah. kind of like the Princess Bride or something where it's all just that conversation. Yeah, yeah, you know? totally. I think it looks really cool. Like the way they've shot it looks really pretty. Um, and a lot of the shots were like, they're really good at giving you that eerie feeling as well, which obviously makes sense for the content that we're watching. And I'm just so curious, like Anushka Sharma, is once again doing another movie that's also supernatural because she did Pari too. So that's she's right. clearly got an interest in that. R right, talking about it, I, I'm still, it's making a little bit more sense of the imagery that I saw, but I was just, I'm very, very confused. A lot of it was very vague. And yeah. uh, what I got more than anything, this almost reminds me of my feelings with, you know, watching South Indian trailers, Tamil Telugu trailers, mm -hmm. where, you know, you get a lot of imagery and a lot of feelings, but you don't know exactly what's happening. and. That's pretty much what's happened here, where I get the overall tone and they didn't show a lot in the way of graphic violence. Not to say that there won't be, there very well could be. Um, won't compare to Mirzapur. <laughs> but um, it, it feels like it is one of those things where it'll be frightening for little kids, but there's a possibility that, you know, it's got a wide um, audience range yeah. in terms of age. Like, you know, maybe 15 to, I don't know, all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. And like this type of scary story was the type of thing that I was so genuinely interested in as a young kid. And 
I would get so scared as well. Like I, I, you know, I get scared really easily and like ghost stories especially freak me out so much. But there is that part of me that's just like, ah, but I just wanna know. Like I'm so curious, you know? Just to let you guys know, Chara's not lying when she says she gets scared really easily. I she do. She gets afraid of her own shadow. That's That's how scared she is. Anyway, <laughs> all the time. And it's like, she has not been attacked once in her life, and Never. yet she gets scared of her shadow. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. What do you think the story is saying? Like, do you think that uh, either of us do you think that Achara's onto something? Because I didn't really say much in the way of the story. Do you think Achara's onto something here? Check out Achara Kirk as well as the jabs on the social media if you feel like doing that. Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon. All notifications, please. Would really appreciate that. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.